This is the installation procedure of the power chips power charger. Now the tools that we need for this installation process is a junior hacksaw, a small pair of cutters and a small vise but it's not always necessary to have that. Okay, The basic procedure we shall follow I shall go through first. First of all we remove the fan. Now, what we intend to do is to cut a slot along here and then place our blade, hacksaw blade here and cut along the edge of the Athlon processor. And then we shall remove part of this retaining clip but not all of it because we still want the functionality of it. Okay, first of all, we begin by mounting the Athlon processor in the vise, very gently clamping it. Next, we shall cut a slot just after the R along here with our hacksaw, like thus. After we have cut the slot up to the heat, down to the heat sink, we shall take the processor out and mount it again like this. Our next uh, task is to cut a slot along the edge right up to our, our slot we just cut using the hacksaw. Now we start cutting. Now we're almost at the ridge, we shall pull off the edge there. And there we have our Aflon. Now, what we need to do now is cut these little slots off. Uh, one, two, and three using a pair of side cutters like this. Okay, now we intend to cut half of this retaining clip from here. Before we can mount the power chips power charger, we need to clean away any debris that may be around the CPU or even inside the CPU. So it may be good to throw some air down this. We put our fan back onto the Apple processor. Now you can mount your CPU within your PC. Um, after which you can actually mount your standard power charger like this or mount your flat pack power charger
like this.